Bullfrogs and butterflies, they both been born again. Awesome job. Space on the couch and in bed. Somebody's excited. Get in there. He's reaching for me. He's reaching for me. Dang it. <sighs> Thought this would work. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> Spider! Spider! <coughs> Spider! <laughs> If I can't get the head, maybe I can get the legs. <laughs> Told you there were spiders. I'm so proud I got everything together. I have, you know, the channel art at the top. I got the intro, I got the end slate. For some stupid reason, I thought you could actually create a like button, but that's below the screen. So I might need to change that to make it larger and say hit like, so I know people are actually watching. Because YouTube apparently doesn't keep track of views unless you're actually a YouTuber and have your own account. And so people can watch it, and you could have like 30, 50, or however many watch it, and you have no idea. It still says zero on the count. I didn't know that. So here I was thinking, well, I have absolutely no audience whatsoever, but apparently somebody's seen it. <sighs> so, anyway, I had been working on that yesterday, so I don't have, didn't have a whole lot of cool content yesterday. I almost played chicken with an 18 wheeler. I was trying to come up through the parking lot and all of a sudden 18 wheeler was in reverse and I wanted to videotape it, but it's one of those situations where you have to count your priorities. Do you want to be flattened like a pancake for a video or do you want a cool video go out with style. I don't know. See, that's the guy right there. I almost got killed by Walmart. Your comments are in the vlog. You can't avoid it. You can't hide any longer. They're gonna wonder how I got two kids. He's with the heat index for the past several days in a row and it looks like there are rain clouds, but there's only a 40% chance of rain for the next hour. I'm hoping it brings a cool front, but uh, I don't know if I'm And now I'm headed over to Lowe's to see if they got some of those cross downs since Home Depot was sold out. And it looks like Lowe's carries varying sizes, which is good because, hold on. Um, I want to make sure that they were going to fit. So if people don't get dizzy, I'll try to keep my head level with the camera and focus on the road at the same time. I 
feel like I'm a one-man show. I want Michelle to be in the videos, but she's like, I'm too annoying. I don't want to be in the videos. How are you annoying? I don't know. She has a thing against people in wheelchairs. Kind of ironic, I know. I guess that's why she finds herself annoying on film. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But I don't like being by myself on camera. I want human interaction. Make more video over at my mother-in-law's house, but she doesn't like being on camera. And then Michelle's sister doesn't like being on camera. Her other sister doesn't really care more than likely. She would do whatever. But I gotta edit everybody out. I'm surprised I got away with showing, you know, somebody in the background. I guess it was okay because her head was chopped off. I'm not that vain to make a show all about me. Though I do get carried away with toys and sometimes try to steal a show. Not so much from the camera, sorry. But I like toys. You might think, oh, are Elijah's favorite toys those Ninja Turtles? No, they're my favorite toys and he likes playing with me. So we play Ninja Turtles. Oh, I should stay in. Actually, his favorite toys are army guys. I like using them for target practice, that's fun. I feel like you have to watch whatever I say. Like yesterday I was trying to take Josiah out of the car, which is extremely difficult because our doors are in front of the back seats. You know how whenever you open the door, you can see the seat through the door. Through the door, whatever. Opening. Well, and at Element, the seat is behind the door. And if you have a rear-facing car seat behind the door, and you have to get him out, you have this little space for him to do the limbo to try to get him out between the ceiling and the car seat, which is extremely difficult. And so as I was taking him out, I was like, I really need a new car, or I would like a new one, so I don't have to strangle you getting you out of the car seat. And then I walk next to my neighbor, and I'm wondering, did he hear that? Did he hear all of what I said? Does he think I abused my kids? Because that's not what I meant. So. I need to look at getting me one of these sheds. Try to put Elijah's wagon and bike in there, but to get the right size, probably had to spend 400 bucks or so. That guy, I just drove the right past. Ooh, hey, there's a little one, a three. Not bad. Bullfrogs and butterflies, they both been born again. I told. You keeping the roaches at bay? Well, at times, parents dread when their toddler starts asking questions like why about everything, but I find it a little entertaining. Like Elijah was asking, what happens if you don't go to school? And I was telling them then you wouldn't be able to read street signs and get lost. And it's like, what if, what if you're in the middle of a giant pool? Then you need to learn how to swim. Or what if you're on top of a giant tree? Then I guess you'd have to call a fire man and he'll be able to get you down with the ladder. It's like a... What if your head catches on fire? <laughs> hmm. That, that's a good question. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. I'm soon for a baby shower for Michelle's sister tomorrow and I don't know why I'm headed out into the darkness anyway. Bummed my computer bit the dust. It's not even a year old. Hopefully it's under warranty. I don't know when this vlog is going to be up.